there are a tremendous number of respiratory stressors in the environment around us. You you walk downtown uh, to, to just to try to get some exercise, just a little bit of exercise, a little bit of a walk outside, and the fumes from the cars are, are causing stressors to your lungs. Anything you can do to help alleviate those stressors, to help your, your body calm down is, is critically important. And Corsin is one of those products that'll help you do that. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Holistic Navigator podcast, where we believe in the body's capacity for self-healing if it's given the proper nutrients and care it deserves. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Brian Strickland. I'm the producer of the show. And here with me in the studio, as always, is your host, Ed Jones. Today, we're taking a look at a specific supplement that is extremely important for this season with our friend, John Mills. John is the Director of Quality and Compliance for Highland Laboratories in Mount Angel, Oregon. And honestly, he's one of our favorite people to talk to. We're taking an in-depth look today at quercetin and zinc, a formulation by Mount Angel Vitamins. Quercetin is garnering a little more attention in recent months for its help with sinus and respiratory health, but its benefits extend into other areas as well. John walks us through the ins and outs of this nutrient and shares how to use it, why we should be taking it, and how it can benefit everyone. That's it for me. We hope you enjoyed this episode. So let me go ahead and introduce your host, Mr. Ed Jones. And welcome back to the Holistic Navigator for probably getting close to episode 100. I'd have to ask Brian how many we actually have, but we're still just rocking and rolling with this uh, thing that I love, which is education and informing listeners about some of the magical uh, natural pharmacies that we have to tap into with nature. And today, uh, I've had a great pleasure in interviewing John Mills uh, with Mount Angel uh, Company uh, probably about a year ago and met him and just a wonderfully informative, educated and um, experienced gentleman on many topics of nutrition. But welcome to the Holistic Navigator, John. Well, thank you very much, and I appreciate it. Uh, you know, there's a whole lot always in the news, probably certainly more about health in the news in the past nine months than I ever dreamed possible. I've seen a change in attitudes in this country that I actually told one of my staff members yesterday. I did not think I would live long enough to see the amount of people who are taking their health seriously and who are able and willing to do almost anything because now they understand something. And that something is that the less healthy they are, the worse they eat, the less they exercise. It's not just about being a little overweight. It's actually about maybe not living. Uh, This uh, episode that we've gone through since March has taught us many harsh lessons, one of which is, you know, being overweight, being overly medicated, having blood sugar irregularities can be very, very serious across the board. We're not just talking about, you know, a, a, a virus infection or even a bacterial infection. We're talking about just, you know, even cardiovascular, this and that. Well, you know, I have many love affairs in my life with nutrients, I will have to say. Um, it's something I've done since 14 years old. I'm 63. I take a really wide array of nutrients. And I told somebody literally 15 minutes ago, it was a, a big news agency in Seattle who interviewed me. I said, you know what the number one risk of our life is? Getting older. Getting older is what will destroy us. It isn't just, you know, for the faint at heart, as they say, it is destructive on every single level. And the only single thing that can slow it is lifestyle management and nutritional supplementation. And doing one without the other, I think, is um, you're missing a big chunk of that. Well, I want to introduce you to a nutrient that many people have just recently heard because it's finally on the news about how to keep people healthier through some of these hard times we're going through. It's called quercetin. And John has extensive information research on this all natural supplement. And I'll be honest with you, I, you know, again, I've never met a, a supplement I wasn't willing to experiment with or really fall in love with. But this is one that I actually did not take unless I had a sinus condition 
until probably six months ago. And now I will never be without it. I can tell you because I delve into the research so deeply on nutrients and quercetin is a keeper. So, John, maybe let's start and, you know, tell people the basics on quercetin. It's spelled with a Q, Q Q-U-E-R-C-E. T-I-N, and just inform them, you know, from from the starting, the uh, first grade level, of course, and we'll move up to the college level pretty quickly. Okay, well, uh, just to start with, quercetin is a very interesting molecule. It is found literally in every living plant. So if you were to eat, um, you know, find onions, for instance, they have a very high uh, amount of quercetin in them. Uh, they're typically in as some kind of an analog uh, but they all break down into the basic form of quercetin, which is uh, a simple molecule, um, three ring structure. I'm, that's, I'm sorry, I'm moving into the chemistry side. Uh, but the, um, the molecule itself is a large ring structure. And it, it seems to um, have benefit associated, like you said, with, with final support. Uh, but, the, the, but the real fun part about this is that it also interacts at a cellular level throughout your body. Um, largely in antioxidant uh, capacities. Uh, but what they found is, is that it, it goes way beyond just basic living. Um, it, it has uh, support for the uh, cells that get stressed on a regular basis. Uh, for instance, athletes uh, who do a lot of uh, physical stress typically have a problem with their upper respiratory system uh, just because of the physical stress, not for any disease reasons at all, just physical stress because they exercise heavily. And quercetin seems to mitigate some of that, that stress application in there. It help, seems to help that. Uh, so it, it, like I said, it goes beyond just, um, just a causal reason to use it. That's interesting. And, you know, the athletic part of it is something that I haven't been delving into because I've been more into the the, the, the things we've been going through in 2020. Uh, and I want to say something. Sometimes, I, you know, I think all of us who've been doing this our whole life uh, assume that people understand uh, what an antioxidant is. And I used this analogy long ago to explain it, and it's actually just came back to me. I probably haven't said it in five years. But if you think about being in front of a fireplace— that's burning real wood, and you don't have a screen on the fireplace, what will happen is these little embers will pop, and they will come out onto your carpet, and they will burn a little hole in that carpet. Well, that's what a free radical does within your body. It's shooting out these little hot embers that are damaging every time it hits something. Well, an antioxidant is really like a media glass of water that you pour on that ember or even a screen that stops it in the first place. So quercetin is helping to stop some of this uh, aging side effect, athletic side effect, because I'll tell you, uh, and and I can ramble endlessly, but I remember uh, some early research showing, you know, people who consume huge amounts of oxygen who are runners, bicyclists, and endurance athletes, they are creating a whole pot of free radicals, those sparks coming out of that fireplace. Well, that's pretty good. It's okay. I mean, it's going to make your heart healthier to do all that exercise in your lungs. But it's also, if you don't counter that with right foods and right supplementation, you're going to have those embers burning some of that pieces of carpet within you. So quercetin is, and I know this, is a fantastic antioxidant. So what would, so athletes, one, especially those who work out very heavily, Two, let's get into the next group of people who might want to consider quercetin on a daily basis. Well, the one individual that, that I think of is the, is the person who has just seasonal allergies um, or allergies in general. Um, allergies uh, can be a challenge. And, you know, any support you can get at all to help, in those, uh, to help deal with those issues um, it is a benefit and a blessing. So if, if you're looking at at just a at just a standard everyday type of a thing, quercetin is wonderful in that respect. Uh, there appear to be uh, uh, what you wouldn't call a dose dependent um, support associated with it. So the more you take, the better it is. Uh, up to a point, of course. Uh, there are some individuals who who do experience some problems when they get really high dose quercetins. When I say high dose quercetin, I'm talking anywhere from 1,200 to 2,000 milligrams a day. So that's quite a bit of quercetin you'd be taking. Um, the uh, the regular person can take anywhere from 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day without without problems at all. Um, 
and that's and that's pretty normal for an adult an adult individual. Uh, when we look at at just standard or regular rather um, uh, problems that are associated in daily living, we're always challenged in those things. You know, we individuals having allergies, but what we don't realize is that there are a tremendous number of respiratory stressors in the environment around us. You you walk downtown. Uh, to, to just to try to get some exercise, just a little bit of exercise, a little bit of a walk outside, and the fumes from the cars are are causing stressors to your lungs. Um, if you in the winter time, it's even even worse when people are starting to burn. Uh, as you already used the fire analogy, the people burning fires or burning uh, wood for heating, uh, that smoke uh, creates stressors in the lungs. Uh, this last summer, with all the fires on the west coast. Uh, that's where I am, that on the West Coast. And all those fires out here created such a heavy pall of smoke, huge stressors uh, every day uh, at that time. Anything you can do to help alleviate those stressors, to help your, your body calm down, is, is critically important. And quercetin is one of those products that will help you do that. I absolutely. I know that, I've, you know, I get so much feedback. I mean, I deal with so many people per day that – tell me a lot about their health and share so much of their own life. And it is it is a game changer for some people. Not everyone, no nutrient is. But for those who have chronic sinus, chronic drainage, chronic this, and what happens when you have a lot of chronic drainage is it becomes a breeding ground for bacteria and potentially viruses. But you know, it's like a pond. If you have a pond that has good flow and good drainage, water in, water out, oxygen, it stays pretty healthy. But you let that pond stagnate. Guess what comes to it? You know, parasites and uh, bacteria that's unhealthy and actually odors and this and that. Well, that's because nothing can can de- detoxify the, the pond. Well, quercetin is is our, our pond detoxifier in certain ways. And the thing is, a lot of nutrients have a lot of f- different functions, and there's not a whole lot that really works on the mechanism of action that I see quercetin. Quercetin helps to block histamine release rather than do it pharmaceutically, which is the pharmaceutical versions of histamine products have side effects. I mean, it can make my prostate swell. It can make me sleepy. They make me hyper. Quercetin works so naturally within the body. And we know that quercetin, and I'm not going to get into any specific words about this. I hope people can assume what I'm saying. But, and we'll talk about this, but quercetin also helps transport zinc into the cell. If anyone's reading about how to be healthier during this 2020, one of the things and one of the drugs that was actually talked about endlessly was trying to help transport zinc. Well, guess what? Quercetin does it almost equally uh, to anything in, in that we found in the world. And so that zinc is so important to help us get well and keep us from getting super sick if we are doing that. And I mean, we've Probably, well, we've sold more quercetin at nutritionw.com in the past eight weeks than we have sold in probably four years total because the media finally is embracing some of this literature about how to stay healthy during this 2020 year. Um, now, you, you did mention something, John. What would happen if I did take too much of this? Because I can be a mega doser at times. Is it gastrointestinal? There's no real danger, is there? Well, the, the danger comes in in that, uh, especially with people who have predisposed conditions to something along the lines of kidney disease, mm-hmm. um, it can increase um, difficulty with the kidneys, kidney function. So it's really important that uh, that an individual understands their body. Mm-hmm. You know, you've already made that, that point. You have to understand your body. And as long as you are aware of how you're feeling and you're moving, um, and and what your body is doing, uh, you can you can bring up your levels to uh, a thousand milligrams a day. There have been no reported instances at a thousand milligrams a day uh, with individuals having problems. This once again, it's when you get up to two thousand, twenty five hundred, three thousand milligrams a day, which is where individuals begin to have some problems. You know, I'm glad you mentioned zinc though in this process. Uh, zinc is a critical mineral. Uh, over 300 enzymes in our bodies utilize zinc as the cofactor. So, you know, you hear about vitamins being cofactors as well. Minerals can also be cofactors, and it's critically important to enzymes. Those are proteins that do things. 
um, in your body. I mean, every your body is functioned by how proteins work. And so a muscle is a muscle, but in order to get uh, a, a food product to digest, you have to have enzymes. And enzymes digest those food products. They chew them up for you inside your guts, inside your intestines, inside your liver, and they they literally do things. Enzymes make energy in your body. If you don't have energy, you don't have enzymes, you don't have energy. So zinc is so critical to over 300 different enzymes and their proper function that you have to have zinc every day. The FDA says you need at least 15 milligrams under the old uh, RDAs and at least 10 milligrams under the new RDA. So that, that, that RDA may have gone down, but it didn't go away. So it's really important that everyone gets zinc into their bodies and they get it at an appropriate level. Um, so that's just absolutely critical. You know, another thing in that uh, encouraging the uptake of zinc, encouraging the uptake of quercetin would be something along the lines of another enzyme called bromelain. And bromelain is one of my very favorite enzymes. It's a plant enzyme made from pineapple. And it it actually, as a protease, it digests proteins. But when you take it by itself or with a nutrient like quercetin or zinc or or nettles, uh, stinging nettles, something like that, bromelain helps to encourage the uptake of all these different components. And it's so important to have that present because uh, you're going to increase the nutritional value of whatever food you have with a protease present. And again, bromelain is my favorite protease. It's such a simple protease. I say simple because it's easy to get from pineapple, but um, it is a very complex protease at the same time in that it's not one individual enzyme. It's actually a group of enzymes that work together. So it's synergistic. They work synergistic with, synergistically with each other, and they encourage synergistically the uptake and nutrient function of whatever you're taking with them. And that's why we included it with the product that, you're, that you've been talking about, the Corsin and Zinc product. Hey everyone, we're going to pause for just a moment to tell you about our sponsor for today. Today's episode is brought to you by Mel Angel Vitamins. Mel Angel believes that your wellness is more than just physical. It's emotional, social, financial, and spiritual. And they provide simple solutions for your wellness by incorporating only the best ingredients in their products. So whether you're looking for a great multivitamin or any dietary supplements, really, you'll find comprehensive formulations to address your needs. For more information and to see their whole line, you can visit MountAngelVitamins.com. Mount Angel, simple, proactive wellness. Well, and that's one of the uh, lovely parts. I, I really value companies uh, that have ethics and transparency and Mount Angel and it's by no means am I just sitting here plugging it for any reason other than I believe in it. I've dealt with, you know, 43 years worth of companies and, you know, only a few are rise to the top and, and are the cream and Mount Angel is definitely one. I trust anything they make and the formulations are phenomenal and I know you're part of that. And I love, you know, their quercetin zinc product combines stinging nettles with it with the right amount of, of all the nutrients and you know, it will be one that I will take uh, long term. If I was feeling under the weather, I'd, I would increase the dose for maybe five to six days or if I had a terrible congestion or something. But I will be on two to three of these a day for uh, probably the rest of my life. Let me ask you, on quercetin, is there any drugs that maybe we should consider people not taking it if they are taking a certain drug? Not, not, not to any great degree, no. Um, the one thing I would recommend, though, is increasing your load of vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Um, vitamin C is such a critical aspect of our diet anyway. Um, our bodies don't function without it. Um, and it has such a tremendous benefit in such a variety of ways. But one, of the, one um, article of research has demonstrated that with, with uh, quercetin, if you have vitamin C present, it will increase the amount of quercetin absorbed and quercetin will increase the amount of vitamin C absorbed. So there, it's kind of like a dualistic synergistic effect with quercetin and vitamin C. So that's just an, that's just an important factor there. But as far as, as medications go, no. Um, I don't normally have uh, concerns associated with uh, individuals who are, are, who are medicated uh, for a variety of reasons. 
taking quercetin. I mean, it doesn't interact with, with Rayfrin or any of the anti-clotting agents or anything along those lines. Well, I always do put it back on the uh, client customer to, you know, check it out. We we can't legally say take it with drugs, but, you know, if they do check it out with someone who knows, not just someone who doesn't know, then that, then that covers that base. And, you know, you talked about how, you know, the zinc and the quercetin, and they all work like a family. It's really just like... You know, a loving family at Christmas time where one person's, you know, two or three in the kitchen and somebody's putting the tree up and uh, packages and someone else is shoveling snow. I mean, it's just that synergy that comes uh, not often in life, but when it does, it is a beautiful music that's played. And and again, the Mount Angel Quercetin Zinc has exactly the right combination so you don't have to think about you know putting together a plan and and I and I actually love the big orange bottle I think it's pretty cool I've never seen one that this big with that much color so uh, I really like the way you designed that label um so we, we dealt with athletes, we dealt with people with chronic sinus, we dealt with people who just want to stay well, and especially partially breathing, lung-wise, it certainly protects all the organs because of the way that it works. Uh, and, you know, I've spoke endlessly, I do uh, probably every day mention something that I call the core four. You know, looking at, at people's blood work for decades, l- t- listening to them, figuring out what makes people healthier by me connecting the dots of so much experience. I really have come to focus that I know that there's four things that every person, if they have blood flowing through their veins and they're past 35 years old, they need if they want to slow aging. And that is the right multivitamin. Um, and, and actually, we did a podcast uh, on that exact topic, John. <clears throat> and uh, Yes, we did. And, you know, that is the, the word right, correct multivitamin is a huge word. This isn't like just grabbing the one that has the right words on it. It is almost a a, a journey in itself to determine the multivitamin. And the multivitamin is kind of like the orchestra director. And it really sends so many different instructions within the body that it is incredibly important. Even if the dosages can be small, they're vital for the function of this complex human system. And then secondly, Omega-3s always have to be part of the plan of what I call the core four. If you go to nutritionw.com and type in core four, you can read all about the articles I've written. I've written over 500 articles on Nutrition W, and several have been on the core four. Thirdly, it's a green drink. I just have great, great uh, faith in the fact that if we drink the right green drink, it's going to alkalize our body, detox our system, protect us on many levels that actually vitamins can't because greens have phytochemicals, which are different. And then, of course, even though we call it core four, we really should now call it core five because we need probiotics and vitamin D and we won't go into all of that. But that is the package. Well, quercetin may not f- fall into the box of core four, but it's on the secondary box. And I do believe that uh, many people should consider that, especially if they're having symptoms of chronic sinus. I mean, or at least having it on hand. I mean, there's people who just have seasonal stuff and, you know, one week is good and one week is not good. Well, you could you could just keep it there uh, for the moments when you need it. In fact, I had a lady text me about 45 minutes ago and she said, Ed, what do I do? I woke up this morning and my head is completely full. It's, it's allergies. I know I'm not I'm not sick with any virus. Uh, and I said, you know, quercetin with bromelain. Again, bromelain helps quercetin to be absorbed. Bromelain, uh, quercetin without a helper might not get into the cells to the level we want. And, and Mount Angel's done an awesome job of putting together exactly what needs to be done. Now, does this need to be done empty stomach or full stomach, John? I don't know that answer. Um, I typically recommend taking them first thing in the morning. That's, that's when I start. And I prefer it on an empty stomach because it has a better chance for absorption uh, as as it starts down the intestinal tract. And, and you bring some food. You mentioned a green drink. That's exactly what I had for breakfast this morning was a green drink. Um, so that, that green drink follows those, those nutritional components down uh, into my gut system and increases that opportunity for absorption. Uh, one thing I would like to point out, and we've been talking about uh, response to problems. Um, I would like to, to say that really quercetin is um, probably better suited as a preventative, uh, taking it before you think you're going to need it. Because uh, the, the opportunity, they, they, the studies that they can have come out recently in the last two years 
have indicated that if an individual is taking it three days prior to, not not two days, not one day, three days prior to a potential um, uh, challenge to their body, uh, that they have the benefit. If they take it two days prior, they don't have the benefit. So really, even though there is there is a potential benefit present, it's not to the effect that if they've been taking it for the week ahead of time. So really right now, um, especially with all the challenges going on in our in our society today, I would really recommend taking it daily, and which is what I do. I take it every morning, first thing in the morning. I have over 500 milligrams going into into my into my body, and I'm utilizing it uh, every day. I, I, there's not one day goes by that I'm not taking it. Well, so I, I love, I preventative, love that. I think, is better. Yeah, I, and I would certainly agree with you. I just know sometimes people get pill wary, weary, <laughs> and they, uh, you know, can only do so many things. Uh, so I, I know what you're saying because actually, when you try to block histamine, uh, once you're already full of histamines, blocking more of it, it's not going to make you feel better that day. It's going to, you're going to have to work through some of those histamines, and keeping it from coming in the first place is important. Absolutely. And I remember this, John, from just it just popped in my head. I mean, probably 20 years ago, prostatitis in men is can be devastating. It's kind of under the radar. People don't talk about it much, but it's, you know, it is it destroys the quality of life for many men. And quercetin has some good studies on helping the prostate to be healthier in that arena, doesn't it? Absolutely. There's uh, uh, well, you know what? And it's interesting because this particular product also has stinging nettle root in it. And stinging nettle root has also demonstrated positive benefits associated with prostatitis type relate type, prostatitis type activity. So it, you know individuals uh, individuals can benefit definitely from using that. And the one thing uh, when we put this product together, when I put the product together, I'm the one who actually formulated this. Um, the stinging nettle root was one that I that I did focus on because it has some um, it has some very positive benefits associated with. Um, um, helping your body respond to viral challenges, and so there, there, you know, it helps the body uh, prevent some some of those implantation type things ha- from happening. And so, quercetin is along the same category in that same in that same category of of, of products of materials, in that it also assists in that challenge process in preventing that from happening. So it's just one of those things where it, it just works well to to look at it and take it on a daily basis and you're absolutely correct when you go back to talking about prostate health or talking about uh, just general lung condition or or any other variety of organs which depends so heavily on um, a strong presence uh, to prevent oxidative reactions from occurring anytime you, you start looking at those and that is as you've already said is the single biggest aging factor in the human body is oxidative reaction. Absolutely. Great, great explanation. And um, it was interesting that I had forgotten that about the prostatitis till it just popped in my head. And um, so many men should do that. And also, I love the stinging nettles because there's there's nettles and there's stinging nettles. Stinging nettles is a far more effective plant, and most companies don't actually make that. Again, that's why I, I really love the, the formulation. And you are the formulator and and have done me- much of that over the years and just is exquisite how you can focus and put all this stuff together in such a package that is wonderful. Uh, again, I think many people may consider this as adding it to their regular protocol. Um, if, if again, they have room in their little baggie like me and, uh, and such. But I really value all this information today. And I know people who are listening do too. In fact, two of my other podcasts on the Holistic Navigator, Dr. Roundtree and Dr. Michael Smith from Life Extension, which both of them were speaking their heart and mind on what to do during this 2020 uh, health challenge if we were getting sick. And both of them, to my memory, said quercetin is very important. Of course, they also mentioned the other parts to this, NAC, which is the other thing that helps the lungs to be healthy, quercetin, zinc, NAC, vitamin D, uh, those were uh, vitamin C. Those were the five biggies initially. Vitamin A was number six. So if people want to hear more about this from the aspect of of more of protocols, go to Dr. Roundtree or Dr. Michael Smith on the Holistic Navigator. 
Well, John, any last words you'd like to say about the uh, quercetin zinc uh, that Mount Angel makes? Uh, well, yeah, uh, like this product, like all the products that we have, I formulated for my family. So that's the one thing. You talked about safety aspects of it before. I would not be giving this to any of my kids or grandkids if it wasn't something that I would be willing to take myself. So that's one of the factors I look at. I try to look at the safety side of things as well as the efficacy side of things to make sure that I have a well-rounded, good product that that I'm actually proud of that my family will use. I love that. And it, it, it really is uh, coincidental. I, again, mentioned again, I just finished a national television show and I said, the lady asked me, she said, I said, we need to uh, put together a team approach for our future health. And that team approach will include a physician, but it needs to include uh, other healthcare practitioners who understand lifestyle, exercise, nutrition, and then companies who offer the right products. And I said exactly what you said. I said, I will not sell anything at nutritionw.com that I would not personally take myself. And I said, we need to always find companies, and it doesn't matter if it's a nutrition company or a hardware store, we need to find companies that are transparent, ethical, and whose bottom line is not just built by bringing up at the register, who's built by offering the client customer ability to, to satisfy their needs of the moment. And that is what Mount Angel does. It's certainly what Nutrition World does, and it will never change. I can tell you that's why we. That's why I love companies like Mount Angel. Well, John Mills, thank you for such information as always, and I'm sure we will be talking again in another six months about something else. And I want to encourage everyone listening to, again, stay tuned for the future episodes. I will be doing this as long as I can get out of bed and be breathing. And I will be breathing because I'm taking quercetin uh, with Mount Angel. So that'll help my lungs to stay healthy. And again, I've repeated this so often, it's uh, probably everyone's tired of it. I separate the world into two classes of people, learners and non-learners. If you're listening to this, congratulations. You are a learner and you will profit exponentially. That's a big word by the fact that you're spending time on here. Anything we can do to help you, you know, we're always here. And so join us for the next episode of The Holistic Navigator. Stay calm, stay fearless, and 2021 is going to be a great year for all of us. Take control of your health and let me help you. Thank you very much. The information on this podcast and the topics discussed have not been evaluated by the FDA or anyone of the medical profession. It is not aimed to replace any advice you may receive from your medical practitioner. The Holistic Navigator assumes no responsibility or liability whatsoever on behalf of any purchaser or listener of these materials. The Holistic Navigator is not a doctor, nor does he claim to be. Please consult your physician before beginning any health regimen.